All right, hello everybody. Uh, so just earlier today, uh, as of the recording of this video, 43 minutes ago, uh, Zowie put out a tweet and a video um, that said, uh, a tweet and a video um, about a new addition to, uh, a new addition to the mouse lineup being an EC3. So I'll show you the tweet right here. Um, so as you can see, Introducing the EC, uh, EC3C, a shorter version of the EC series that, ha that is weight reduced, has a paracord cable, 24 step scroll wheel, uh, and then these changes will be implemented on other shapes in the near future. Um, before you go check, uh, they are not currently selling this mouse. I believe that um, it will probably get, uh, it will probably be put on sale soon. Um, if no shipping delays in mid July. Okay. So that would mean that people will be getting this mouse at the end of July, and I think that's a, a great rollout speed. Um, so, in the video, they say that this EC3 will be 70 grams. It'll be just slightly smaller than the EC2. Um, it'll have a paracord cable. If you watch the video, it's very similar to just to a Vaxi cable, or um, old Model O cable, um, Razor Viper cable, any of those like paracord cables put onto mice by big brands. Um, and then uh, that it's, that it'll be 70 grams. I'm not sure if I said that already. So these changes are super interesting. Um, oh, and 24 step scroll wheel, of course. Um, these changes are super interesting to me because they, they show me a few things. One, Zowie is going to attempt to stick with the times. However, sticking with the times apparently just means doing what Vaxi has done. For those of you who don't know, the people making Vaxi mice right now are the mouse designers of the uh, Zowie mice who have left Zowie and are now, I'm pretty sure they're like freelancers who have been working with um, Vaxi most recently. Um, so this means that we cannot really expect any new Zowie shapes for the foreseeable future. This is obviously not a good thing. However, I think Zowie is sort of making the most that we can realistically expect out of what they have. Um, because they have the four shapes that they have. They have their uh, they have their Z ZA series, their S series, their FK series, and their EC series. Now what's super interesting to me is that for the last probably year and a half, two years or so, the FK and the EC series have been basically completely unviable because they have shit tier cables and there are companies that are making better versions of the mice. Um, whether that is Glorious, I, I don't like Glorious as you guys know and I think their quality control is dog shit, but I cannot look past the fact that if you get a good Glorious Model O, it is an FK1 that weighs 68 grams, has a pair, has a paracord cable, and has decent mouse feed. Um, and if you buy a Model D, it's a similar story for the EC series. Looking past that, there are um, Razor Viper Ultimates that are comparable to the FK series. Um, there are just straight up FK clones. Um, there are so many clones of the EC series. Um, so the S series and the ZA series have sort of been the only purchasable Zowie mice for the uh, for the longest time, and I think even that has started to fade out recently. As the ZA previously, which I have right here, was one of the only uh, like aggressive claw-shaped mice available. Um, but now there's Endgame Gear XM1R. Um, there's other aggressive claw-shaped mice that are becoming available, and sort of making the ZA13 irrelevant, because although it's still, it is still an incredibly unique shape, there is no clone for this mouse, um, the reality is, is that it's a mouse that only some people want, um, and even those people that really want it, there are better options. Um, and then the S series is a great mouse, the S series is a great mouse, and as of now I don't think that there's a true clone of the shape. However, there is this mouse, the NP01, that for all intents and purposes is a more comfortable S series. You can aim as well as you can with it as you can with the S2, and it has the nice ergo right side and it's comfortable. So, as of a few months ago, 
Zowie mice are very hard to justify purchasing. Now the EC3 is going to be a mouse that you can justify purchasing um, because there is really nothing else like it. Um, and at 70 grams, 70 grams for a smaller EC series with no holes and a 24 step scroll wheel is really, really, really tempting. Um, now if they do the same thing to the S series and the ZA13 and the FK series, I think that a 70 gram FK2 with a 24 step scroll wheel, you probably still want to paracord it, but a 70 gram FK2 with no holes is a very, very purchasable mouse. Um, I think the same thing is true for a really light ZA13, um, especially once the scroll wheel is improved. Um, however, the reason that I say that I think that these are direct answers to Vaxi is that Vaxi mice have been coming out in the last six months, I believe. They're relatively new. They have 24 step scroll wheels. They have these paracord cables. And for the most part, they take the same philosophy that Zowie has had to making mice and do it just a little bit better. So I think that if Zowie implements these changes quickly to all their mice, suddenly you're looking at Vaxi mice 24 step scroll wheel paracord cable and you have Zowie mice 24 step scroll wheel paracord cable. Don't get me wrong, neither of these are mice with incredible features, but suddenly you have two companies making mice with great shapes, with relatively low weights, and decent features. So I think that this is a fantastic move with, uh, by Zowie. I do think it is sort of the bare minimum. Um, like this is just the bare minimum of, w of what Zowie has to do to sell mice. Um, and I think that the biggest winners of this are the FK series, the EC3, uh, and then that's kind of it. I think that you would still rather be buying an MP01 than an S series. Um, and the ZA13 series, frankly, just didn't need this. I mean, you s you probably still want to be paracording the mice. I think that this this um, these changes make Zowie mice a lot more beginner friendly. Um, if you don't want to open up your mouse, suddenly Zowie mice are now actually purchasable. Um, because before they just had dog shit cables you couldn't use, but now you can like make do with a Zowie cable. You still probably want to be paracording it, um, but the ZA13 will be a little bit lighter. It'll have a better scroll wheel, so it obviously wins. But for me, the biggest winners are these two mice here, the EC series and the FK series. Because a smaller EC is something that <laughs> uh, Rocket Jump Ninja has been asking for a smaller EC series since he reviewed the first EC probably six years ago or something now. And a 70 gram FK2 is an incredibly competitive mouse. Um, the FK2 is a shape that everybody fucking loves. Um, and the reason that it has been unpurchasable for the last two years is because there are similar shapes that are uh, have better features and are lighter. But a FK2 that is 70 grams with a 24 step scroll wheel with a cable that you don't need to replace is a really competitive option, especially if they keep these mice at the same price point. I will say price is not something that they, that they brought up in this video at all, but if, it, if you are paying $70 for this mouse, I think that's really competitive. I will say if they bump that price up at all, I think that n and everything that I just said becomes irrelevant um, because I don't think you should ever spend $70 on a FK2 with these features when you can buy a similar shape for cheaper with better features. Um, but I think that if they can continue to be at the $70 price point or even drop it, if they drop it to $10, suddenly I think people start recommending Zowie Mice again. Um, yeah, so in summary, I think that these changes are good. I think that they are able to make Zowie Mice recommendable again. Um, I think that these changes are a direct answer to Vaxi, and I think if Vaxi sees these changes and then advances more, hopefully we can see some sort of rivalry between those two companies. Vaxi and Zowie can sort of fight against each other, and then we all get better mice. I think if that happens, that's excellent. Um, I think these are great changes. I'll be interested to see what the price is, because the price is really going to be the decider. Um, if these are $70, I think that it is a, gr a recommendable mouse once again, but if they are jump, uh, if they price jump it at all, price, fuck, I don't know what the word is for that. If they um, bump up the price at all, it becomes very hard to recommend. Um, 
But yeah, I, I love these mice. I think that they are wonderful shapes, and I think if they um, update them with modern features, it becomes very easy to recommend once again. Um, I hope that they also offer them in white glossy variants. Um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to leave your own thoughts on this topic uh, in the comments down below. I always read all comments. I try to respond to everyone that um, sort of <laughs> has, a re has a response that I can make. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and when the EC3 comes out, I will try to purchase it and review it. Um, so stay tuned for that. I will see you guys later.